Hi people, welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect 2 and it's the legendary edition so I'm in the briefing room I think I'm going to tour around the ship and talk to my companions once more because I came back from a mission uh, but let's go for Joker first I'm sure he has something to say. He always has something to say when something interesting happens, right? Hi there. Primary systems clear. Yeah, I was expecting for that, <laughs> but not anymore. Was that button? Nah. You don't know what it is. <laughs> you <laughs> go down. Commander. I we talked about this, but the mission. So how do you think we're doing? Well the Normandy's not as ready as she could be. There's always more we could upgrade. Okay. And as for the crew, you'd have to ask a, a people person. Hmm. Ever think about the old Normandy and the trouble we got up to? <laughs> yeah, those seem like the good old days now, but come on, it, it was hell at the time. Geth, Saren, Sovereign, and then we got dumped. We're stuck in a weird place, sure, but back then it wasn't all sunshine and bunnies. <laughs> uh, have you heard about the old crew, maybe? What happened to the rest of the old crew? I heard most survived. Almost did. Presley didn't. And the rest of us just sort of drifted apart. The Alliance didn't care. Hmm. I don't think they liked all the non-humans in your crew. We were your team, Commander. With the Normandy destroyed and you gone, there wasn't much keeping us together. Okay. It's sad to hear, but I was also thinking maybe... I they... assume everything's going well up here? I really want a chance to put the Normandy through her paces. I just have to trim up the drive output and it'll be like we never lost hmm? her. Safety standards advise against manipulating drive settings while engines are powered and in use, Mr. Moreau. Commander, can we shut this thing okay. off? I don't need it in my day-to-day. -day. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Maybe you can mute it. <laughs> yeah. You don't want to hear it. Turn the damn sound off. Well, it doesn't change anything. It's still watching. Mm -hmm. like creepy, some right? Creepy kids staring at the back of your head in comp side. You just want to punch okay. him, but he's special and he sets fires or something. Okay, a little too far there, but you know what I mean. I don't. Your problem, not mine. <laughs> Thanks. I'll remember this. <laughs> okay, Joker. I guess I'll just go. Then bye. That's it for now. See you, Commander. See you. <laughs> Okay, who should I go and talk to next? I mean, I can talk to Jacob, I think. Let's check on him. Hey there. Commander, can I help you with something? Okay, uh, upgrades there are and yeah, we Any should. Any thoughts on how to prepare against the collectors? They spec this ship to the original Normandy, but you were there. The collectors cut her like butter. Mm. This armor just isn't top of the line Can anymore. Can you suggest People anything? People will die if we don't upgrade. Alliance had some new toys in secret dev before I left. I could try and pull a few favors. Okay, definitely do that. Let me try and check that. Is it like ship enhancements? Yes, heavy ship armor. And we can actually do it. We have the... What necessary? What is necessary for it? So let's do it. Why not? If it's that important. But let me just uh, sp still help the ship hold together if hit by a blast powerful enough to penetrate its shields. Okay. Okay. Definitely. Commander, can I help you with something? Let's investigate again. Uh, maybe if I ask. Any thoughts on how to prepare against the collectors? We've got the best armor available. Okay. The rest is outside my expertise, Commander. Very good. Okay. So, what do you think about the mission? How are we doing, Jacob? What's your sense of the mission? If Morden's modifications hold up, we've got a shot. If they don't, we're dead. <laughs> Seems like that was always a strong possibility, though. Yeah. Anything else, Commander? Let's see. Opinion. What do you think of the state of the crew? Well, we don't have a full complement. We don't stand a chance without the right specialists on side. Yes. Anything else, Commander? We will recruit more. 
I understand you made quite an impact after you left the Alliance. Miranda and I stopped a Batarian plan to release a biological agent on the Citadel. <laughs> That's when I first met her. It took us out to the Nemean Abyss and back. Saved the Citadel like you, but what's the saying? A good deed's like pissing yourself in dark pants? Warm feeling, but no one notices. Uh -huh. The whole thing was hushed like they're good at doing. But I know what I did, and I'm proud of it. Uh, okay. I mean, the way you put it out... I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. Sounds good. Have to say you run this ship tight, and we're getting things done. We keep on track and maybe we'll figure this out. I hope so. I'm not looking forward to the debrief if it all goes to hell. Mm. Is there something specific? Or are you just checking just in? Just checking in, I guess. Don't be so formal, I need a reason. I guess uh, you're just a soldier like me and your opinion kind of matters. At least for now. I heard you were big in the Alliance. Figured we have something in common. I did some things that caught attention and stirred up the Citadel. That was after the Alliance put me on leave, though. Mm -hmm. Didn't drive a Mako through a relay or take down a Reaper, but you covered that. Yeah, you know. Oh, more. Joining Cerberus. Why did you join Cerberus? That was a full move. <laughs> what led you to Cerberus? The Alliance sidelined me after Eden Prime. Ended up on a job with Miranda that Cerberus treated like an audition. And here I am. Mm -hmm. You don't mind what they're doing, actually. That's... a switch. You don't seem like a results-at-all-costs kind of guy. Cerberus history doesn't bother you? The Alliance is all politics. Somebody has to take down the bad people. Hmm. Cerberus keeps that line, I'm on their side. Okay. What was your proudest career moment? Oh, uh, covered this, didn't we? It was after getting sidelined. A Batarian group was plotting Don't to release a weaponized virus and kill the council. Miranda and I stopped it. Okay. And it wasn't reported? Never? Maybe because it was... Strange that it wasn't bigger news. Stuff. The real work doesn't get publicized, mm. you know that. They say it's better that people don't know how fragile the system is or how close the bad guys can get. So, it never happened. Like you and the Reaper. And that's why I'm here. Okay, you're a big guy, I get it. Hmm... You're still in top shape, nah. Uh, yeah, it's good that I think you took a stand because I really don't want to flirt with you. I don't really like you. There's something irritating about you. So maybe I should just go with the middle option. And I don't know you enough to say that they lost a good man. I'm guessing it's just I like that you look. You took us then? You make no apologies for doing what you had to. I admire that. I couldn't go back to the Alliance, not after the cover-up. They did the same to you. General Public never knew you were dead or heard the real story of the Citadel. Mm. Did you know they used you on recruitment ads? You were the human ideal for like six months. Then they replaced you with a composite image they invented. Guess you didn't focus test right. Perfect example of humanity and they still dumped you. <laughs> You always this depressed. <laughs> Way to boil it down, Jacob. I hope you keep a better attitude about our current mission. <laughs> Don't worry. This is exactly what I signed on for. If that's all, Commander, I'll get back to my duties. Okay. There's a lot to get ready. Sure. I don't like the way Shepard starts talking with Jacob. It's like so flirty it feels. And I don't like it because I don't really like J Jacob yet. I mean... <laughs> Whatever. Hi, Morden. But let's check this. Heavy ship armor. Yes, we have it. And nothing else. Do we have anything we can research? Weapon upgrades, review, assault rifle damage. Should I get it? I think I can. Right? Squad bonus 10%. Sure. We have more? Not really. Armor upgrades, medical capacity. This is actually nice. Increased by one. Okay. And prototypes. Do I want that? Nah, heavy weapon ammo. Maybe, maybe. 15% heavy armor and this is a new weapon. Do I want it? Evis character. 
I'm not really going to use shotguns. I don't think I am able to, so maybe let's think about it. I'll come back for it later, maybe. I'm going to talk to Morden. Hey. Shepard, how can I help? Upgrades. Yes. Any ideas on other ways to prepare for the collectors? Ideas, yes. Expensive, but possibly valuable. Stand. Can show you. What is it? Prototypes, maybe? Because I don't see anything else. Armor, no. Uh, what's that? Requires one more medical capacity upgrade to unlock medical upgrade. Unity heals your squad to full health. This is actually quite useful. I need to try and do it. And there's something about your Omni tool. Squad member upgrade more than gets 20 percent take power damage. Morden built his own only tool and can make significant upgrades given the proper materials. I guess, yes, okay. Why not? Hello? Shepard, how can I help? Mm, let's see if it's done. Any ideas on other ways to prepare for the collectors? Sorry, I've done what I can. Focusing on studying collector tech okay. now. Okay. What about your lab? Is the lab working well for you? Quite satisfactory. Found a few surveillance bugs. Destroyed what? most of them. Returned expensive one to Miranda. Nothing unexpected. <laughs> Just need more samples. More collector data, tissue samples, anything you can get, I can use. Find new tech. <laughs> Returned the expensive one to Miranda. <laughs> can you check my room too? I mean... <laughs> Are there any medical concerns I should be aware of on the team? Cerberus personnel in excellent condition. No squad concerns to report. Okay. Always some matters, but nothing affecting immediate mission. Okay, um, but what about you? I mean... Have you got a minute to talk? Of course. Mm. Plague on Omega dealt with. Plenty of time to analyze collector intelligence. Sure. Impressive laboratory setup. Missed working for operations with a budget. AI in particular. Very helpful. Mm -hmm. Best setup I've seen since work with Special Tasks Group. Okay, and did you heard about your... Have you heard about your assistant? Is your assistant Daniel settling in all right? Quite well. Safe and secure. Neighborhood mostly quiet with plague gone. Mm -hmm. Left him the security mechs just in case. Yeah, Can't be water. Too careful. Also tired of mechs. Noisy. Never used them in STG. Okay. Let's investigate. What kind of limited facilities and special tasks group? Tell me more about the Solarian special tasks group. Respected organization. Clandestine. Handles difficult assignments with limited oversight. I know, I, Recon I remember. analysis, occasional wet work, identify problems, have neutralization options ready should need arise. Model for Council Spectres based on Special Tasks Group. Very similar. Hmm, tell me, how so? Similar in what way? Solarians lack numbers, brute strength, military prowess, have to rely upon stealth, mm. intelligence. Agents trusted, given wide operative freedom. Spectres similar, given goal, told to accomplish. Better. Funded, of course. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Didn't have to buy our own weapons. <laughs> okay. What about your work in limited facilities? But... Tell me more about the Solarian... Remember. Respected organi... Recon. Model for Council Spectres yes. based on special uh, tasks. No. Group. Okay. Very similar. We can go for the other option. I guess. But... You said you were in the special tasks group. What kind of research were you doing? Not simply research. Several recon missions. Covert, high risk, served under young captain named Kirihi. Studied Krogan genophage, took water, tissue samples from Krogan colonies. <laughs> I... Do I know him? I worked with an STG captain named Kirihi. His team helped me destroy Saren's cloning facility on I Burmire. remember, hold Heard the line. he was part of that. Jury rigged explosive. <laughs> Always got job done with limited resources. Good captain. Bit of a cloaca, though. Loved his speeches. Old the <laughs> yes. line. Personally prefer to get job done and go home. <laughs> Probably military bravado. Jargon. Chest pounding. Uh, no offense. Nah, none taken. <laughs> what were you studying? Why would STG study the genophage? Krogan rebellion's bloody. Dangerous. Nearly as bad as Rachni attacks. Why did you... All species evolve, adapt, mutate. If genophage weakens, need to be prepared. Ooh. What was the STG preparing to do? Military schematics for likely Krogan population growth. Political scenarios for attack points. Genophage reduced Krogan numbers. Species aggression unchecked. Population explosion would be disastrous. STG helped check Krogan rebellions. Needed to be ready to do the same. Simple recon. Nothing to worry about. Mm. Okay. 
But let's talk about it, maybe. I want to... What can you tell me about the no genophage? More. Bioweapon designed by Solarian science mm -hmm. team. Deployed by Turians against Krogans to end Krogan rebellions more than a thousand years ago. Affects every cell of Krogan body. Commonly and incorrectly considered a sterility plague. Mm -hmm. Actually adjusts viable fertility rates to compensate for high Krogan birth rate. Stabilizes to pre-industrial population growth levels. Hmm. Okay. Nice talking with you, Morden. I should get back to work. Need to study. So much data. Here if you need me. Sure. Shepard, how can I help? I guess that's all done. Okay. Have you got a minute to talk? Not now. Working on collector data. Have ruled out artificially intelligent virus. Unless it's very intelligent. And toying with me. Huh? Hmm. Tests. Anything else? Okay. I'll let you work. We'll be here if you need me. <laughs> okay, Morden. Let's... Continue. I mean, there are some options that I almost missed. And I like to... Uh... Okay, let's Morden's talk to... Morden's psych profile warned of hyper behavior, but he is like a hamster on coffee. <laughs> what? He's going to be a very productive member of the team. Anyway. How may I help you, coffee. Do you have a Let's moment talk. to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. Hmm. I better go. Yeah, okay. we talked about those. Maybe we'll talk later. How may I help you, Commander? Is there That's... anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Okay. Anything else, okay. Commander? That'll be all. Yes, Commander. I should check. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Thanks. Let me see. Healing all your facial scars from Chief Medical Officer Chokwas, Commander. I have done further investigation regarding your facial scarring and the old adage of mind over matter holds true. Negative attitudes and aggressive acts create adverse reactions with your cybernetic implants, while peaceful thoughts and compassionate actions promote healing. If you maintain a positive outlook, I believe your facial scarring will heal on its own, otherwise there is surgical equipment we could use to insulate your cybernetic implants and accelerate your healing regardless of your mental outlook. I've updated plans for the new medical equipment to your research terminal in the tech lab that's actually very interesting i mean i think she means that paragon being paragon will help healing my skulls scars because of the positive outlook and if i go for renegade it will actually uh i mean keep my scarring intact uh, because of negative thoughts or something okay I'm actually usually paragon not that I choose to be it's just what happens when I choose what I want but I'm guessing that it I'm not going to have any problems with it let's let's try looking here hey how may I help you, Commander? Oh, Brandy! I have a present for you, Doc. <laughs> Sarah's ice brandy? You did I did. <laughs> Thank you. I always regretted not opening that original bottle when I still could. I won't make the same mistake again. Why don't we open this bottle right here? Right now? You and me. Okay, why not? Let's do it. I mean... You crack open the bottle. I'll get the glasses. <laughs> <laughs> she looks so happy. I thought Olenko's biotic display might have broken Jenkins' back, but Jenkins pops up and yells, That was <laughs> awesome! Oh my god. <laughs> oh, Jenkins. Soldiers like him make the Alliance great. But he dies. Cerberus lacks the same enthusiasm. Mm. Are you sad? Why did you leave the Alliance, by the way? You're here. With your service record, you could have gotten a tour of duty on any Alliance ship. Why'd you really leave? Maybe it's less about leaving and more about staying. As a military doctor, I mostly treat people who are in bad mm -hmm. shape. Often, they die. And if I can help them, they move on. Either way, they leave. And you feel lonely. I mean, it's sad. But... Don't you have any friends or family? No, not lacking friendship. 
Just stability. Jeff, Joker will always have Rolex syndrome. He would never admit it, but he needs my help, and he always will. I wish it weren't, but sadly, it's true. Hmm. I understand. Maybe we can toast to... Treating Joker gives you a kind of stability. So does this ship, even if it's a copy. Or, hell, maybe it's you, <laughs> Shepard. Our removable center. A place for a person to this stop you stability. and catch her breath. Or maybe I'm just happily drunk. <laughs> maybe. Would it hurt if it was simple like that? Okay, okay. There's our toast, I think. We, we should do that. <laughs> Here's to simply being happily drunk. <laughs> I'll drink to that. Okay. It's blue. Again. All right. Oh, my! Ah, uh, she's she's gone sleeping. <laughs> so drunk that she fell asleep, and I'm not good. I'm not in good shape. It's 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 like there is a very slow earthquake going on in my head. <laughs> uh, okay, it it it's. It's not there anymore. Okay. Hey, uh, should we talk? How can I help you, Commander? I won't take oh, any more of your time. Did. Back to work. Back to work, yes. Miranda. Hello. Commander, what can I do for you? Upgrades. Have you got any ideas for potential upgrades we could make? A few ideas, yeah. Yeah, take a look. Okay. What do you have for me? Ship, maybe? Yes, I think so. Mineral scanner? Not that we can do it right now. Med bay upgrade, okay. Hmm. So we need iridium. How are we supposed to find that? Okay. The Argus planet scan technology has been integrated into the ship system. This will greatly speed up the planet scanning process. Whenever you have the time and resources, let me know. So, can we talk? Do you have a minute, Miranda? Of course. I'm just finishing an operation report. I'm impressed, Shepard. So far, things have gone exceptionally well. Mm -hmm. As Cerberus operations go, this is one of the best I've been a part of. Well, I never said that I'm Cerberus. I mean, I am here right now, but I'm not Cerberus. Maybe that's because this isn't a Cerberus operation. Mm -hmm. Not to you, maybe. But I report directly to the elusive man. And I'm here because he wants me to be. Cerberus gave you a second chance, Commander. Maybe you should do the same for us. Hmm. I don't know. Tell me why should I do that, maybe? Hmm? What did Cerberus do that made you so loyal? Hmm. I suppose you deserve to know. Yeah. Do you remember when I told you how I was genetically altered? Well, that wasn't my choice. My father created you mean me. How? He's a very influential man and extremely controlling. He didn't want a daughter. He wanted a dynasty. I ran away as soon as I was old and brave enough. I went to Cerberus because I knew they could protect me. Uh, uh Cerberus? Why would they protect you? I mean... You seem capable of defending yourself. Why did you need Cerberus? Mm -hmm. My father invested a great deal in his dynasty. It wasn't a matter of just leaving. I knew he would continue to pursue his... investments. <laughs> so you're saying that they appreciate you, kind of? Not that I... I assume that Cerberus approves of your enhanced abilities? <laughs> of course. Cerberus fully endorses anything that advances the cause of humanity. Genetic alterations included, mm -hmm. but unlike my father and his own selfish reasons, Cerberus and the elusive man believe in a greater good. They see the bigger picture, and I feel like I have a purpose here. Okay, but I think you're better than that, yeah. I, I think I should say this. Uh... Talk about yourself like you're just a tool mm -hmm. to be used by your father, by Cerberus. By yourself. Maybe. I like to know where I fit in the world. It helps me find meaning in how I was created. You are who you are, Miranda. 
You don't need to make excuses mm -hmm. for it. That's easy for you to say. We've both been engineered for greatness, Shepard. The difference is, you were great before we rebuilt you. I'm great because of it. Give yourself some credit, okay? Your spirit and personality are what make you great. It's what makes anyone great. That's kind of you. I'm not sure I believe you, but thanks for saying it. Think about it. Tell me about your father, maybe. Who exactly is your father? A businessman. But a very wealthy one. It's ironic, my father believed deeply in a human positive agenda. He donated generously to Cerberus, before I joined them. That's how I first heard about Cerberus, through my father's connections. Self-esteem? What do you mean? Talk about yourself like you're just a oh, it's the tool same thing. to be used. Maybe. I like to know- You are who you are, Miranda. That's- The difference is, you were great before we rebuilt okay. you. What about I'm great because of it. You told me a lot about your father. What happened to your mother? I never had one. Most of my genetic material is based on my father's tissue. His Y chromosome was altered with you? an amalgam of desired traits from various sources. How arrogant can you be? The man is completely egomaniacal. Just another reason I had to get away from him. You, you're you like a clone? Thanks for your time, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. I mean, Anytime, similar, Miranda. Something similar to that. You are created in a lab or something, probably. All right. What else? Let's go to the engineering. Mm -hmm. I hate that way, but I think I'm going to go check on these two. The new armor reinforcements really threw off the gravimetric profiles, but engines are good to go. I rebalanced the Gilborn coefficients and adjusted the anterior intakes on the second tier stabilizers. <laughs> I love it when you talk. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my God. Y'all are best, Commander. We just got those FBA couplings installed. Now we only have to calibrate every week instead of every day. We're thinking about celebrating our newfound free time with some Skillion Five poker. Want to join us? Ooh, yes. Come on, Kenneth. The commander doesn't want to play cards with grease monkeys like us. I'll play. Actually, that sounds interesting. Fantastic. I'll get the cards. Oh, you can go easy on me, right? Because I'm new at it, but I'll just beat your ass. My Skillion right? Five's a bit rusty. <laughs> You'll be easy on the rookie, right? <laughs> of course, Commander. It's all friendly. Yeah. Yeah, right. Oh my god. What's happening? You won 500 credits playing Skillion 5. Be gentle on the rookie. <laughs> I can't believe we fell for <laughs> that. It's so worth losing to see you taken down a notch. Beat me up my own game. You're all right, Shepard. Yep. <laughs> what can we do for you, Commander? <laughs> I guess that's it. Carry on. Will do, Commander. <laughs> that was nice. <laughs> there was nothing down there, and Zaid is over there. Let's check. Okay, you have things. You, you, you're spying on us. Oh my God! Look at it. The engineering, the combat information center. You don't have my room in here, right? I mean, I hope not. Okay. Let's see. Hey, don't touch. Why? That rifle's older than you are. So? I call her Jessie. That's my lucky charm. More men have been killed with that gun than died in the Skillion Blitz. The day I laid her to rest was the saddest day of my life. I'd give up every weapon I own for one more mission with that shitty old wife. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you only talk more? I was down and out when I found that gun. Jessie was the first weapon I got my hands on. Took her everywhere. She didn't have much punch, but... Reliable as all hell. Hmm. She'd already been through a lot by the time I got her. Still, 
I never had to recite her once. Okay. Damn good rifle. You're a man attached to his gun. I remember Jesse's first kill. Torian arms dealer out of Omega. I ran through miles of filth and rust to hunt him down. When I finally cornered him, that gun was caked in two inches of the foulest sludge you can imagine. But Jesse wanted that Turian dead, so two shots. And he died right there. <laughs> okay. I mean, uh, Varric was also... Varric also liked Bianca a lot, but this sounds serious. I killed my way across the Terminus systems with that gun. Seemed like Jesse wanted to kill more than I did. Bloodthirsty old bitch. I owe half my reputation to that weapon right there. Anytime someone calls me ruthless, relentless, they're talking about that rifle. Mm -hmm. Sure. I don't take Jesse into battle anymore. Had to retire her about five years ago. I was hunting down this Batarian slaver. Forgot his name. Not important. Carved my way through a hundred Batarian mooks. mooks. I don't remember injecting a clip once. Jesse just kept firing. Reached the slaver and he got in my face. So I went to blow him away and nothing. The old bitch had finally yeah. jammed. So I smashed his face in with the butt of the gun and called wow. in the job. After that, Jesse couldn't be fixed. Nothing anyone could do. Like she'd finally had enough blood and was ready to rest. Maybe you should Been rest resting. too. Hmm. No more? Okay. There's a ship model. Oh yeah. That's a model of the Varakan. Turian frigate. Hell of a ship. I led a mission to bring that thing down from the inside with just five men and whatever guns we could bring. No chance of success, but we did it. Everyone died but me. So I made out like a bandit. My first impossible mission as an independent contractor. There's been many since, but nothing so goddamn sweet as watching that Turian warship crash planet side. Okay, you'd like that it crashed. <laughs> that? What's that blood puck helmet? Beauty, isn't it? Pride that off the Krogan warlord, Gazak. Used to run the blood pack out of Omega about 17 years ago. Mm. Wasn't even a job. The guy just thought he'd hijack a freighter I was hitchhiking on. Big mistake. Whoa. I goaded Gizak into one-on-one -on -one combat. Took out his legs, grabbed his gun, and killed every blood pack bastard in the room. That was the most beaten Krogan I've ever seen. Kept a helmet to remind me of that pained expression. Uh-huh, how nice. <laughs> so, if I talk to you... Thinking about past missions. Got a minute. You might learn something. If you say so. <laughs> I was trying to remember how many Cerberus operatives I've killed. Lost track around 50. Hmm. <laughs> guess your elusive man's big on forgiveness. I guess. I mean, I killed lots of them too. So. Hmm. What is this? Ah. Uh, Ejek. Garb. Really? I mean, we are polluting the galaxy now? Are we really doing this? <laughs> this is so bad. Really. Okay, I'll come back to talk to him later again. I'm sure he will have more to say later. Let me think, what should I do now? I think I'm almost out of time. Let's check my cabin. Uh, I didn't have any messages, so I'm not going to check it now, but I'm trying to look at my ships and... Yeah, that's Normandy in the middle. Uh, I'm out of time guys so um, we'll, I will come back with the next episode so thank you for watching bye